What has become of Memorial Hospital? Once the hospital of choice for Santa Rosa, it now ranks last among the city's hospitals, according to state regulator reports, despite soaring profits, and patients are paying the price. Between 2011 and 2015, the California Department of Public Health recorded twice as many complaints about deficient services and care per bed for Memorial than for Kaiser and Sutter combined, and five times as many substantiated complaints. According to the Public Health Department, Memorial's substantiated staffing shortfalls, lack of training, and other violations have contributed to patient falls, bed sores, risk of infection, and increased possibility of errors in patient care. Why is this happening? 1. Understaffing. To save money and boost profits, Memorial minimizes the number of caregivers attending to patients. From 2011 to 2014, Sutter's non-RN staffing increased by 39.3%, while Memorial slashed its staff by 15.5%. Sutter now has 62% more staff per patient than Memorial. In a survey of Memorial caregivers, 98% said short staffing has limited their ability to provide quality care. The results? Call lights unanswered. Patients not getting the care they need. Patients left alone with no one to feed, bathe, and turn them. 2. Turnover Low pay is causing experienced caregivers to leave for jobs at Kaiser, even Sutter. The North Bay Workers' Rights Board found that workers at Memorial and St. Joseph's other local hospital, Petaluma Valley, make less than workers at the county's other major healthcare systems. On average, caregivers at Memorial and Petaluma Valley make 25% less than their Kaiser counterparts, 9% less than their caregivers at Sutter, and it takes them 21 years to reach wage levels that Kaiser and Sutter workers reach in seven years or less. This means Memorial and Petaluma Valley workers finish their careers having made tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands less than their Sutter and Kaiser counterparts. Three, drastic cuts to healthcare coverage. Memorial's parent company, St. Joseph Health System, is demanding severe cuts and steep premium hikes, despite unprecedented profits. Memorial's profits have grown dramatically in recent years, 1,600% since 2009. But while profits soar, wages stagnate, turnover increases, and standards of care suffer. And patients pay the price. Sonoma County deserves better. Support the Memorial and Petaluma Valley caregivers who are fighting to improve patient care standards and working conditions at our local hospitals.